Hey guys, today's video is all about uh, evaluating and building production ready RAG pipeline. So as you all know that a RAG has several different moving parts and as an EIML and data engineer, there are a lot of uh, config configurations that need to be made to run uh, this RAG pipeline properly, right? So it becomes difficult to choose uh, the right set of configurations basically uh, when it comes to uh, selecting the chunk size, uh, the EI framework, whether Langchain, Llama index or uh, the embedding model to use. Uh, so these are some of the some of the always asked questions. Hey, what should be the chunk size? What is the optimal uh, you know embedding model to use for my uh, rack pipeline? Uh, so today I'm going to show you how uh, you can evaluate and uh, see for yourself uh, uh, what's the most optimal uh, rack configuration or setup uh, for your use case. Okay, so uh, this rack builder from Crux AI uh, is an easy to use tool uh, to help you basically evaluate the uh, optimal rack configuration for your use case. Okay, so uh, let's talk about uh, this rack builder uh, um, in in like you know. Uh, in a little brief. Okay, so Rag Builder uh, uh, takes your data as an input and uh, runs uh, hyperparameter uh, tuning on the various Rag uh, parameters like chunk size, uh, embedding model, etc. Uh, evaluating uh, multiple configs and uh, it basically comes up with a dashboard where uh, you can see the top performing Rag setup uh, and uh, in one click uh, generate the code for that uh, Rag setup. So you can go from your uh, uh, RAG use case to production grade RAG setup in just minutes. So after running uh, this RAG builder, I'm going to show you in a minute or so. Uh, it will basically let you know the uh, it will let you know the answer correctness, context precision, uh, and uh, context recall, latency, etc., and all these things. Uh, in a in a very simple dashboard basically okay uh, so let's see how this rag builder basically uh, works hey guys so here is the rag builder uh, github repo with all the details of how to set it up easily so um, as you can see here i am using the second option of using a pre built docker image to set up the uh, rag builder dashboard so yeah, if you are a Mac user, uh, this is the command. Uh, first, you need to uh, pull the uh, pull the latest image and then uh, run it. So Docker pull this image and then Docker run uh, with the uh, uh, in the, in the file where you have basically stored your .env file, right? Uh, so once you do that, uh, you will be able to actually um, go to your uh, uh, local terminal 55003 and then uh, access the uh, rag builder uh, dashboard hey guys so let's see how we can quickly set up the rag builder performance dashboard uh, to see the optimal uh, uh, rag configurations uh, for our use case uh, so uh, go to the rag builder github repo uh, it is uh, github.com uh, slash uh, uh, crux ei slash rag builder uh, once you go there you can find all the details on how to set up uh, but i'm just going a real uh, quick here to show you how you can set up um, in a in a minute or so so uh, go to your terminal and uh, create a env file where you can add your environment variables i'm going to show you how i did it uh, so if you are using open ei key uh, open ei add your open ei key um, right to use the open ai services for embedding model to create embeddings and all that uh, similarly add mistral api key if you are using uh, mistral services and uh, yeah i am basically using open ai and single store uh, single store uh, as my vector database to store all the uh, data uh, vector data and then um, after after configuring your uh, environment variables uh, you can uh, use the pre-built uh, Docker image. That's how I'm uh, I'm using. There are different uh, other methods to uh, set up the rag builder, but uh, I'm using the um, uh, pre-built Docker image. Basically, I'm pulling this um, this image, uh, latest uh, rag builder image, and then I'm running it. 
uh, using this particular uh, command okay uh, uh, in my terminal and once we do that uh, you should be able to see this uh, uh, rag builder performance dashboard on your fi uh, uh, 003 um, uh, local uh, url okay hey guys so like i said uh, i'm using the second option uh, to set up the rag builder um, using the pre-built docker image so this is the first thing right to uh, docker pull uh, and yeah uh, before everything else you need to have your uh, docker desktop uh, running on your computer and then pull this uh, uh, pull this image and then once you pull that image the second thing is to run that uh, where your .env file is present so this is my .env file as you can see i am using openai api key um, and uh, i am using single store as my vector database right so once you run this uh, and uh, go to your fi fi uh, double fi double zero three local host this is where you will land <clears throat> okay so this is the uh, rag builder performance dashboard and uh, now let's see uh, let's create a project and uh, take uh, my own uh, this particular article and and uh, give it as an input data source data and then see uh, the optimal um, uh, configurations for that particular uh, uh, blog right uh, for that data that we gave so let's create a new project uh, create a new project and then let's call it like uh, q and a blog chatbot <clears throat> and then the source data we can give right like i said right uh, let me give this uh, source data and uh, there are two options now use predefined rack templates uh, and then create custom rack configurations so creating custom rack configurations is where we will have more uh, control so let's do that and uh, let's click next and uh, when you click next as you can see uh, there are like you know detailed rack parameters uh, you can uh, select uh, right from chunking strategy chunk size <clears throat> embedding model uh, the vector db uh, the um, retriever uh, top k right uh, compression uh, the llm to use so what i'm going to do uh, for this uh, for this particular use case let me select uh, the recursive markdown semantic character or this one and then let's uh, keep the chunk size from 1000 to 3000 and then let me uh, select the embedding model as uh, text embedding 3 large and then since we are using <clears throat> single store database as a vector database let's select that and then uh, retriever lets me cancel this this uh, we will use uh, yeah uh, vector similarity search and uh, mmr top k let's uh, pick the top five uh, the uh, five and then for compression let's use the uh, long context reorder and then llm let's keep it as uh, uh, gpt 3.5 turbo okay so and then uh, in the uh, advanced uh, optimization settings let's use the uh, bayesian optimization okay that is the recommended and uh, you can also use uh, evaluate all possible uh, co combinations but let's use this for our use case okay and uh, let's click next as you can see um, next is a generic synthetic data uh, based on my data set okay that's what it will do uh, to basically uh, create a evaluation thing right to basically uh, you know come up with the optimal rag uh, configurations so let's do that and let's click on to advanced settings <clears throat> so let's uh, reduce this to maybe 10 uh, 20 so let's use uh, gpt 3.5 turbo uh, right uh, and embedding model as uh, text embedding 3 lar large so once you do that click next and now you can see all your uh, 
uh, the selections that you made for basically right the description the source data um, and we said like use predefined rack templates uh, th this is the rack template that uh, uh, basically we selected create custom rack configurations we did not select this so we selected markdown uh, chunking strategy chunk size 1000 to 3000 embedding model vector db single store database uh, retriever that is uh, mmr and uh, uh, similarity search uh, top case 5 and uh, we selected this and yeah and we also said genetic synthetic data okay let's confirm this and once you do that you can see the project uh, started started off and uh, it'll take um, some time and uh, after that what you can basically see is you know uh, this is what you will see right uh, the uh, this is the success one uh, where you can basically um, go to your um, uh, dashboard and then uh, once that is done you can basically see the results right uh, here is a tab where you can see view results and uh, once you see that as you can see answer correctness was you know 0.87 context position is almost like 0.94 context recall is one tokens used this much and latency is this much and yeah you can also see the details and code snippet used so let's uh, see the rack config if you uh, extend this rack config you can basically see the see the in in these uh, what we selected from or like the embedding model the chunk size the uh, the chunking strategy it basically did a permutation and combination and came up with a proper um, configuration for our setup right so as you can see for this particular um, uh, you know answer correctness 0.87 context uh, precision 0.94 uh, context recall one this is what it used right the framework was langchain and then the chunking strategy was markdown had a text splitter and then we you know the vector db we used is single store db um, the uh, embedding model was embedding three large and yeah as you can see uh, you will everything is here and for the next one which is slightly uh, lesser 0.86 you can see what are the things basically worked uh, this way you will know the optimal uh, configuration for your use case let's go back and see for something else right uh, yeah this one uh, let's go to the results as you can see here right 0 0.68 0 0.62 it basically tells you the score of answer correctness context position and all that so yeah i mean um, if you go to view details you can also see the details the question answer context ground truth everything uh, used so there are a lot of things uh, this is really interesting and i uh, request everyone to uh, go to the uh, this uh, rag builder uh, repo and then uh, set up and see for yourself for your use case how what is the optimal chunk size uh, the chunking strategy the embedding model and uh, yeah i hope uh, uh, this was really interesting and uh, yeah, well, I'll see you in the next video. Um, if you have any questions about the Rag Builder, let me know. Thanks.